All right, Christopher Rainey. Your Honor, which podium does the court prefer? Either one works for me, Mr. Johnson. May I approach with a you document may? I've already given to the state? So this is an email. It's an email to my partner, Ms. Osteyoung, who's president of the court, and it's from the alleged victim in the case. And I have spoken to her, her mother, and her father, and we'll have further information. I know I'm a little ahead of the game by presenting that, and I do not mean to jump court services, so as the court wishes. Okay. All right, Mr. Rainey, you've been charged with the offense of battery. Do you understand what you've been charged with? Yes, sir. All right. If I can hear from court services, please. Your Honor, we were able to verify Mr. Rainey's seven-year tie to the county and lifelong ties to the state of Florida, and he's currently unemployed. He has no adjudications in his history, no failure to appear in his history. He does have a history of violence with different victim. We are recommending a bond in this case and no contact with the victim. Unfortunately, Your Honor, we were not able to make contact with the victim before court time this morning. All right. Does the state wish to be heard? Only to say, Your Honor, we concur with the bond. We're also, based on the prior history of violence, we're also asking the court to consider no contact with the victim. <coughs> All right, Mr. Johnson. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, first of all, I would like to point out in the police report that there were no marks on the young lady. And if there was an open slapping, then I would suggest there would have been marks on the young lady uh, based on light most favorable to the state as far as what the minimus says. I was in contact with uh, the alleged victim. She spoke to me on the phone. She sent the email the court has seen. I spoke to her mother yesterday. I spoke to her father yesterday. They all have said the same thing, which is that uh, she is adamant that there was no crime she is going to ask the state to drop the charges. She was not in fear of him. They've had a nine-month relationship. They've never, she's never been in fear of him. They were tussling over her backpack, which had his phone in it. She indicates that she can see how someone from afar across the street would have thought that there was a touching because they were fighting over the bag and she fell down. This is her making the representations to me, and I'll make that representation as an officer of the court. Um, I echo that she was unable to talk with court services because her mother called me this morning and said that they had called last night. Her thoughts were it was around 1 o'clock in the evening, 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the mother and the daughter called back were unable to get through to anyone, which is understandable. But they have asked that there be, there not be a no contact provision. And we're very specific about that. Um, the prior incident was dismissed at the end of the day. Mr. Rainey is unemployed because the Steelers cut him yesterday after this event. I would respectfully suggest that there's a pretty good possibility he will not be unemployed in the future. He does have an apartment that he rents in Gainesville. He has signed a lease. I have known the young man for years. There is no concern about him not showing up, and I respectfully suggest that he's not a danger to the community, Your Honor. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Mr. Rainey, you've got a couple conditions, okay? Yes, you're not to possess any weapons or firearms while you're on out on the spawn, okay? You are to have no contact with Now, I understand that according to Mr. Johnson, she wishes to have contact with you. But you understand when I say no contact, I mean no sending messages through third parties, no texting her, no tweeting her. No talking about her on a Facebook page. Any questions about what no contact means? Yes, sir. All right. Now, if she wants to have contact with you, I don't have a court order over her. I have a court order over you. You will be the one going to jail if you contact her. Yes, sir. All right. I'm going to release you on your own recognizance that you promise to come back to court. Do you have any questions? No, sir. Okay. One, one thing, Your Honor. Could you please instruct Mr. Rainey that he is to come straight to my office upon being released? All right, Mr. Rainey, you hear that? Mr. Johnson wants you to come straight to his office after you get released. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. 